Working on a Tesla Model 3. This is the right rear door. I took the glass out and the insides out so I have ample access to get my hand in there. And at the top of these doors, it has this bracing that just kind of seals you away from any dents that are on the skin because you just can't reach up and get a tool inside there. So my access is really sliding in um, between the brace and the skin. So what I'm gonna do is with the glass out, now I can look over the top and get up inside the brace and push out and not leverage that much off this brace. The reason why you don't wanna kink that brace or put a big bend in it or something is because you gotta remember who you're, who you're working for. The other thing I don't recommend, and this is my opinion, is that the bottom of the door has these holes at the bottom. You know, you can take out these plugs and run tools up from the bottom. But check this out. I got a tool inside there. So now the idea is that you're gonna go up the hole, get around that wire somehow, you know, not damage it, and then go on an angle and then somehow slide up inside there push your way through that brace and bend it out to push a dent out. I don't recommend that. I think there's too much that can go wrong, especially getting around electrical like that. There's electrical over here as well. So that's my opinion on R&I um, with Teslas. Take it apart. Do it safe. Get the re uh, repair completely clean and you're doing it in a way it doesn't harm anybody who's riding in this car. All right, here's my solution when working up inside the brace. You know, I put a wedge right here so I can have a little bit of a gap, a proper gap for, you know, the tools to go up inside. And then when you're twisting out, um, you don't want to damage this brace. You don't want to put a big bend in that. So what I did is I put a piece of metal and just bent it to where it was able to support the brace. So that way the brace, if it's going that way, this, this piece of metal here is gonna prevent it from going that way and, 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 and kind of blowing out the brace. Pretty easy setup. Just get a clamp, a piece of metal, and bend it for the distance, and you're good to go. There you go. Well, thanks for watching. This is Sal from Dent Experts, the YouTube channel, showing you how I'm fixing a Tesla 3 and not bending out the brace.